the, the TV screens here. Bellsworth 46. Awesome job. Thank you, Bellsworth, for putting up this awesome stream. Getting underway into Smashville. Inkling versus Lucina. Thoughts? So this is uh, so this is two different types of zoning, right? You have the swordsman type of zoning, which is a lot about fade in, face out, making sure your sword is where you want it to be. And then you have Inkling, who has projectiles, and as well as an oppressive like uh, rush down to complement it. So we're definitely gonna see uh, a palm style complemented by the Inkling's more varied kind of uh, wild approaches and like this. Look at these aerials. <laughs> <laughs> One smack. And that's already going to put him off the stage, but he does get back with the recovery. He's trying to set up with some jabs. Inkling has a great recovery. Now, Law was behind for quite a bit there, but he brought it back really quickly. Inkling has such an awesome ability to rack up percents quickly. Yeah, definitely a combo character. Now, something we're not really seeing from Law is he's not really putting his ink out there. As you know, or if you don't know, for those at home uh, watching, if a person is covered in ink, they take more damage from inkling. So you want to put on a lot of ink early. You want to use those splat bombs. Right. Use the splatter gunshot. Um, anything that you can to to basically get your opponent dirtier. <laughs> right. To, to get as much advantage. Make them as you want can. to take a bath. And even with this roller here, when your opponent is on that paint, they move slower. Right. And it does add, still add on some percentage there. So with inkling, like. You have to think about how you're going to do things. Right now, we don't see a lot of splat bombs coming out. That could be a great edge guarding tool right. for Law. Uh, splat bomb is very interesting in the fact that, uh, unlike most projectiles, it appears that you can't cancel it out. Now we did just we did see him start to throw those out there, but he is super super low on ink. He does get that refill? That's super super crucial yeah, that when it comes to anything inkling. Inkling is going to be a resource management character. Now, if, if you did see some of those videos before, uh, before the game came out, a lot of Inkling players were struggling with getting that refill option. You know, if your opponent is off and you're low, you need to refill. Right. Otherwise, a lot of your options, a lot of your attacks go out the window. You don't even get hits anymore. It's just like you lose essentially all of your special moves. Exactly. And you lose some of your neutral moves, too. Uh, for example, uh, Inkling's jab, where uh, she sprays you with ink, you lose that. You oh. just spray air at them. It does nothing. <laughs> so it looks like a good strategy for somebody facing an Inkling is to make sure they don't have that time to rebuild it. That was a really smart option, using that splatter bomb. Uh, he could have gone for a grab after that, because you, you can anticipate your opponent maybe rolling, maybe air dodging, and get right. a follow-up after. And that's what we were talking about with that zoning. Yeah, that's the power of zoning projectiles. Controlling what your opponent can do next to what they're likely to do. Man, okay. All right. This this man knows how to fade back there. <laughs> He's got it. He's got that one unlocked. Soba, an excellent Smash Four player. Looks like that's carried on into Ultimate really well here. Honestly, all the Smash Four players are absolutely terrifying. Like <laughs> the neutral game is so precise. You have to be. You have to do a lot of different options. You have to mind game your opponent. You have to figure out how you're going to approach. Nice refill from from Law. This is a full powered inkling right now. But the juggles coming out from Yaki Soba, full keeping him out of disadvantage. Oh, that was a great up throw. Ooh, this is all advantage from Yaki right Rumi. now. <laughs> Ooh, super close. Ooh. That is a great kill move, by the way. That's been a great kill move in Smash 4. Um, it does work in melee as well, I've yeah, seen. Oh, uh, but the SD. But I mean, like sometimes those SDs happen, but you also have to understand that Silva was putting on a tremendous amount of pressure. There was nowhere he was going. Exactly, yeah, for sure. That's, what, that, that's the game outside the game, right? Yeah. <laughs> So, counter picks. Uh, Inkling can go to a lot of different stages that would make. Never mind, we're going right back to Smashville. <laughs> it's like, I counter mean, picks? No. <laughs> we're going to the most neutral game of the stage, we're going to like it. Double, double oh, Lucina. Man. Maybe? No? Alright, he goes right back to Inkling. <laughs> he thought about it. He thought about it. You see that Silva's face? He's like, I don't know about this. <laughs> All right, back oh, at man. it for Smashville. Look Death. at that change in tempo from Soba. An immediate approach where, as before, he was kind of uh, zoning him out. 
Yeah, changing up your play style mid set. Um, for example, you know, you win that first game, you have a certain play style, people start to catch on to your right. rhythm. But if you change it up, maybe you start walking during, um, you know, instead of running towards your opponent, that throws them off kilter. They're gonna figure out what's going on. Uh, a bad option that you, uh, where you mix up lots of different options can become a good option. If it's a good option that you only do that one option, it will definitely become a bad one. It'll become stale, definitely, absolutely. But Yakisoba taking that first stock, only 29% here. Law in a lot of trouble. He needs to figure something out. He needs to figure out how to catch this with Lucina. Nice movement from Soba as well. Baiting out a lot of the options, a lot of attacks from Law here. Yeah, that, that's ultimately where the meta of ultimate appeal will progress. It's definitely going to be a lot of empty movements. But that's like the, the essence of how you create rushdown as well. All right, nice follow-ups from Soba, just chasing down Law. Caught that ledge jump, though. Gets the grab, no follow-up, though. Figuring out early on, um, and I'm not saying that Law isn't doing this, but figuring out early on what your grabs, what follow-ups you have with your grabs are really important. That's yeah. where a lot of percentage can get racked up. You don't just throw out your attacks all the time. you got to mix it up. So. Right. There's all sorts of true combos and tech changes off the throws in this game. And I think we'll see those move even towards the, the true doubles uh, over time as well. Oh, oh no. Oh, all right, he's makes good. it back out here. Going low. Oh, man. He's doing it now. <laughs> he, he's feeling himself. That was beautiful dare coming out from Soba. 95%. That's a ton of extra credit. Yeah, and these shield breaks are definitely... I feel like they're gonna kill. I feel like they hit, they're gonna kill. Fair, still not doing it at 151%. He needs to follow up with uh, some more stuff after the pair. Something he's, meaty. <laughs> like, he needs, to, he needs to take Soba's book and start controlling the stage a as a weapon in and of itself, and not just his moves. There we go, getting that fair off. Nice job, gets the refill as well. Really crucial. Important. He's definitely gonna need it. Alright, no edge guard coming out from Law. And once again, this is match point here for Soba. If Law doesn't cap, like, start getting his act together and start racking up that percent, he's going to be out of the tournament. This is still pools. This is still where it's really scary. Every hit counts. Every hit counts. The, uh, this is, someone's going to drown. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> I know this last got real dark. <laughs> dark humor. <laughs> There's an inkling on screen. They can't swim. <laughs> Actually, they can't. If they touch water, they explode. Oh, man. It's weird. It's rough. What kind of squid can't swim in water? The one that's also a kid, apparently. <laughs> All right. He's bringing it back slowly. You know, he's 190%. That's scary. You know, one hit, maybe like jab or something to take it. But if he takes the stock, he's then up 74%. And he does have a small amount of rage here, too. F Smash coming out. Almost takes it. Splatter Bomb gets him oh! low. Nice edge guard coming out from Law. Okay, back <laughs> so to bringing it right back. And that's the thing. That's the kind of thing you need to do when you're down. You need to start going for those uh, those kooky mix-ups. Exactly. You, you need to start taking the risks. Getting some juggling. Thirty-one percent. Law has the lead right now. Right there, I would have. During that empty hop that Law just did, I would have liked to have seen a splat bomb, a mix-up, making Soba do an option that he doesn't want to do. Yeah, splat bombs are actually so, like, they're a really interesting zoning tool. Now they're, oh, sorry. Because they, they explode when you touch them, but if not, then they're just on a timer, which means they're both that, uh, that type of zoning tool where it controls stage in and of itself and a projectile that will hit you out right. Oh, F-Smash comes out, it's gonna take it. Soba takes it 2-0 over Law. Soba, Soba looks like he knows what he's doing. This is a, this is a cool kid over here. Yeah, Soba kind of came into the Smash 4 scene a little later in his career. Um, and he adapted.